When you say QA spec, was there anything automated in there? Yeah. We're still in the process of building that out. Um, some of the load balancing is automated. Um, most of the rest of it, is, like I said, is right now is when we're really focusing on developing those processes. So we have a QA team. <laughs> um, her name is Jill. <laughs> yeah. It's coming along. What will you be automating? Are you going to do front end? Uh, I think front end, we're looking at Selenium. Um, back end, it's still kind of up in the air. We're trying to move to uh, functional testing because so much of our stuff changes on a regular basis. The unit testing is still a little premature. Um, and kind of build out from there, but it's still very much in flow. What is your dev setup like? In terms of like stage impression, how do you? So yeah, we've got. It? Sorry. <laughs> no, no. no um, so what we have are, uh, we are using uh, Amazon for most of our entire site. So everything's in the cloud. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in the cloud. Um, so we have dev environment set up in the cloud for each developer. It's basically one box uh, that hosts the database, the memcache uh, instance, and <coughs> Apache is what we're currently running the site on. So, um, every developer gets to play with that. They've all got their own branch in SVN. We're still on SVN. Um, moving to Git probably soon. Uh, so the developer goes in, makes the changes they want in that branch. Once they feel that those changes are ready to go, they merge them into our integration branch, which is again a separate box running its own database. Um, that's basic testing goes on there, make sure it plays friendly with all the other plugins. It moves from there to our QA environment, where it gets QA. Uh, QA is much closer to our production environment in that we're using HyperDB there. We've got multiple uh, database. You've got a master write database, a read slate. Um, so each step up the line gets closer to our production environment. Once it's through the QA cycle, we get simple SVN merge to our deployment box, and that does just deploys straight up from our sync from there. So all of the PHP machines are completely inaccessible except for the web interface. You can't write to them, you can't get to them unless you happen to be our push machine. I'm sorry? I guess we guys are only serving you, so it doesn't matter. I'm I guess, why Apache? You guys, I never said you guys aren't actually serving uh, Because we didn't get enough time to set up Nginx, <laughs> which is what we're migrating to. Okay. Anyone else got any questions? When you said there's uh, the way you manage your slides, mm -hmm. and you want to release that, can you? Say specifically what you really liked about it, and by release, does that mean you're going to make this a free plugin? Yeah, yeah, it'll be a free plugin. Um, it'll be called Ipso Slideshow. Um, I've already kind of started on it, just pulling the code out, but I mean, I, I haven't really had time to, to make it um, uh, available yet. And I'll poke around with it a little more probably later. I'm, I'm actually getting married in two weeks, so I don't have any fun. <laughs> Stop promising anything to anybody. That's not great time. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so it's, I, I like it because there's not really a, I, we, the reason why we coded it, we thought we'd add like a slideshow plugin um, that someone already used. I think there's Slide Deck and there's one more else that uh, that's used pretty often. But, um, but it didn't do what we wanted it to do and it wasn't flexible and it, it was you know we'd have to go to a different page and so that we liked we chose that interface and a lot of that was Karen and I's thinking that we just wanted it right there in the page easy to use and uh, yeah and so the, the, the interface you'll see on the inside is pretty much going to be exactly the same the thing that will be different is how you present it which I, I think the approach is better to just give you the calls so that you can put it in your theme however you want um, and then uh, instead of trying to make something that will fit in everybody's thing. So, so just look out for that. I'll, you know, we'll send something around or to, to Zach so that everyone here can you know when stuff like that's released. Can you show us the slideshow? Sure. I <coughs> mean, the, uh, the way it looks on... Yeah, uh, on a page. Sure. Um, <coughs> the setup is, it's really easy. <coughs> it's it's totally the first page. Um, let me get one that's been published.
we'll do it from the real side so it gets faster. Um, so the way we do slideshows is it doesn't show up in the actual body of this, the story. It's a separate page that you go to. And uh, it just adds the, uh, the endpoint, if you're familiar with the uh, WordPress <coughs> structure, it's just an endpoint that and there's code that tells it to show you the first slide. And so this is our slideshow. And you can just click next. And oh yeah, there you go. You got your next picture. You can come down here and choose the one. And yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's like uh, the captions show up really nice too. Yeah. And so, you know, theoretically, you'd be able to sort of design your own slideshow experience for the for the front end, but then you get that tool that manages the data for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, with the dynamic comments, you guys are hitting the JSON API that you're exposing that is on a different server, or where is that all It's all running on the same server, it's basically an Ajax one. Does that spin up the entire WordPress <coughs> stack in order to serve that JSON? Um, essentially, yeah. yeah. It's using the built-in comment functionality. That, um, we're, one of the reasons why we're looking at a different implementation of that is because of the performance that we're getting there. Um, a lot of that was kind of done when we went and realized that going through Optimi wasn't a viable solution for Kama. So uh, it didn't get as much uh, design beforehand as we might have liked. So we're in the process of refactoring the solution. Cool. Anybody else? All right, well, I'm going to grow a beer. <laughs> Just again, this reminder, we are hiring, so <laughs> um, That's a great segue. Um, I also, before we wrap here, I also realized I forgot to thank a few people. I just wanted to thank all the volunteers who came um, and helped out. A uh, bunch of people came. I'm not going to name you all. Really appreciate you helping with set up and take down and uh, view your sticking around and helping us clean up. I appreciate that. Thank you to Aline, who's uh, filming today. She'll be editing and posting this on uh, our WPSFO site. Um, please do register and sign up. We're going to be expanding that site um, over the next few months. Um, it's a buddy press install, um, WPSFO.org. Um, and uh, do we have anybody else? Salon.com is hiring. It's hard, to, it's hard to compete with that. But anybody, anybody want to try to, anyone want to talk about uh, hiring? Yeah, we're hiring. King.com. You, you can stand up. All right. Hey, we're, I'm from King.com, or we're from King.com, and we're hiring QA people, a couple more job interviews. That's it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Are you guys running WordPress? Uh, for a couple of our sites. For this one. Thanks. Uh, anyone else hiring? Behind the scenes video. Yeah, yeah. Right. Pink.com, hiring. Right down the street in the armory, right? Yep. 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 Awesome place to work. Mm -hmm. uh, who else is hiring? We are. Yo. Uh, Trend Media, <laughs> we do mostly WordPress custom sites, so I'm always looking for independent developers to work with. If you can take on an hour or two hours, we can use that help. If you can take on big projects, we can use that help. So uh, if you're a person who likes to work on WordPress and you can just fill a few slots in your schedule, find it. Anyone else hiring? What about any like freelance uh, engineers looking for WordPress gigs? No, we are right. No one has any freelance. <laughs> 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 Anyone? Any freelance designers? Freelance designers? What was the question? You you looking for work? I'm always looking for work. All right, Tim's looking for work. I have a question. Yeah. If anybody has ever built and this might be really silly, but an intranet site using WordPress and um, if there's any maybe like packages, like intranet that companies, you know, with information that companies would need, I would love to talk to someone yeah. about it. Sounds like a job for BuddyPress or for Anka. Here you know, go. well, I was thinking about that, actually. Cool. Uh, anyone else looking for work <laughs> or looking to hire? Aline, what's up? Well, I can do videography, slideshows, uh, social media, marketing, and videos. Awesome. Awesome. This is high-quality video. 
<laughs> not today. Uh, what else we got? XG, we're always looking higher. So we're going to work with <laughs> nonprofits and social innovators, build technology, come talk to us. Uh, well, make those that high. Automatic also can compete with Slam.com and Automatic. <laughs> <laughs> King, I don't know what we're talking about. We have a page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, 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 okay. Any other announcements? Any other announcements? Anything like that? <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. Thanks, guys. If you don't mind, um, like stacking up your chairs as you go and hang around, have some pizza, have some beer, we'll kick you out in a little while.